Hi guys! In the video today I want to speak about intermittent fasting. I recently started doing it and I would like to discuss it with you because it is a great strategy but it isn't for everyone. You fast for some period, usually overnight, and many people extend it over to the morning. So their first meal of the day is lunch and then they eat normally. The best way is also to structure your meals, not just eat whatever you want during your time window, but also have a really strict meal structure because it has many many benefits over just random eating and eating you know different times and whenever you want. And uh, then your last meal is usually sometime in the evening, most of the time, for most of the people, their dinner. And then they fast overnight and then their first meal is usually lunch. But it also depends on your schedule and your personal preference. It isn't like there is a certain time window you have to fast or to eat. Some people have a 4 hour eating window, some people have 6 hours, some people have 8 hours. You know, it depends up to you. So why do people do it and for whom is it beneficial? In my opinion, it is more beneficial for people who want to lose weight than for people who want to gain weight. Because, or like gain weight or even uh, gain muscle. In the short time window, it is often difficult to get lots of calories in. If you are, for example, a big guy who needs 5000 calories, it might be a challenge to get them in this 4 hour window if you don't want to eat lots of junk food if you want also to have lots of veggies in and a pretty healthy diet. However, if you diet, it can be a good tool not to kind of starve yourself with really small frustrating meals, but have just a few larger meals later today, instead of lots of really small meals that don't really satisfy you. Another thing is if you want to lose weight and gain muscle at the same time, I wouldn't really recommend it to beginners to resistance training or even maybe even intermediate lifters. If you are a beginner, your anabolic window is really long. So after your exercise, you can build muscle for up to 72 hours. And if you start fasting within 72 hours, have like all the time fasting periods, then you don't support your body with enough protein, energy to build those muscles. But the more advanced you get, the shorter the anabolic window becomes. And then if you are advanced lifter and your metabolic window shortens to about maybe 16 to 24 hours, it isn't such a big problem. Then it makes lots of sense to get lots of calories and lots of protein after your workout. But then kind of before your workout, like the next day, you don't build so much muscle anyway. So you can use this time actually to lose fat and fasting could be actually a good method for it. Another thing is, it depends on how active you are. I wouldn't recommend intermittent fasting for people who are very active in the morning, but more for people who are sedentary. Because some research has shown that if you fast in the morning, then your energy expenditure goes down. You just move less. If you are sedentary in the morning, if you have an office job and don't move anyway, then Fasting, you know, isn't a big issue because you can't really reduce your energy expenditure a lot. But you, if you're very active in the morning and have to move a lot, then I don't really recommend fasting. This was about your non-exercise energy expenditure, basically how much energy you expend for your movements. But what is about your basal metabolic rate? The energy you expend for all the basal tasks like your heartbeat, for example. If you don't fast for 22 hours or longer, then it shouldn't be a problem, it shouldn't decrease. But actually I wouldn't even go that high, like 22 hours fasting, 2 hours eating, I would decrease the fasting period. I probably wouldn't go for more than 18 hours fast a day. In general, intermittent fasting is a good tool if it fits to your lifestyle. And that's why I want to discuss with you why I started implementing intermittent fasting. First of all, I suggested to some of my clients to do intermittent fasting just because they have bigger social meals in the evening when they go out, they eat more and that throw them out of their calorie deficit because they want to lose weight. And a good way to save kind of the calories you will need in the evening for the social meals or meals uh, 
or working business meals is just to you know reduce them in the morning the best way would be not to have breakfast and usually all the diet strategies or training strategies I give to my clients I try them out myself because I want to know where the difficulties are how well they function so I tend not to give anything I haven't tried on myself and I'm really sure that it's good that it works that's why I actually also started doing intermittent fasting and at the beginning I thought it would be really hard because I love having my breakfast I'm totally the breakfast person it's my favorite meal of the day but after three days I really adjusted to it it took me three days first I usually wake up at about 5 50 and have breakfast at 7 but then I just try to delay it so first day I got I was hungry in the morning when I woke up, I had some tea and water, then I was fine. Then I just delayed uh, kind of my breakfast as far as I could, which was probably like 10 a.m. Then I had my breakfast, the next day I had my breakfast at 11 and then the day after at 12. Doing it not just in once from uh, 7 to 12, just shifting my breakfast or my first meal wasn't that painful because then you can always tell okay yesterday uh, I had my breakfast at 10 so now I can do it like half an hour or one hour later I will be fine I find it less painful to shift it gradually another thing is I'm in calorie deficit at the moment and I prefer to have maybe fewer but larger meals I can really enjoy than lots of really small meals as I already mentioned before another thing is because I'm already advanced with my training I want to consume most of my calories around my workouts. I usually exercise later in the day, sometime in the afternoon, so I want to consume most of my calories after my workout in the evening so that I can support my muscle protein synthesis. I don't really need lots of calories in the morning because it's like I think already my anabolic window is really shortened so it makes the most sense for me to consume most of my calories after the workout another beneficial thing about shifting all my nutrients towards evening is that there's kind of circadian rhythm for protein there is a great article written by Menno Henselmans I will link it down below and it seems like that it's more beneficial to consume most of your protein later the day which I will do if I fast in the morning and just shift everything to the evening. The same with carbs. There have been a few studies that have shown that people who ate carbs later in the evening had actually beneficial effects on their body composition. Then I was actually asked on YouTube about intermittent fasting and protein intake. What about protein absorption? Isn't it like a problem if you consume most of your protein in a short window? Because you know there is this myth that you can eat just 30 to 40 gram protein at once because you can't absorb more so you will waste most of your protein and it's not true some researchers have actually done a study comparing meals with 70 grams protein and 40 grams protein and 70 grams protein outperformed the 40 gram protein meal because the nitrogen balance was higher and the reason for it is that the 70 gram meal made muscle not to break down that much so it wasn't like the muscle you know grew more or the muscle protein synthesis increased after 70 grams protein compared to 40 no it was just that fewer muscles were broken down because how much muscle you gain in total is kind of a balance between muscle protein synthesis so building muscle and muscle protein breakdown so when the muscle get broken down and this breakdown was lower with a 70 gram protein meal than with a 40 gram protein meal so that's actually a myth that you shouldn't eat you know more than 30 or 40 or how much ever grams protein in one sitting because it will get wasted so this study actually shows the opposite that's why i don't have any concerns regarding consuming most of my protein later today intermittent fasting actually helps me to get more things done in the day or in the morning and work more efficiently because i do two of my most important tasks for the day before breakfast and it actually also motivates me to get done with it faster because then I can have breakfast. So I don't procrastinate, I don't, you know, 
check on Facebook or whatever, I just focus on my task and okay, now I want to get this done so I can have my breakfast, so it make my workflow also more efficient. And another thing is I plan to travel, so I'm going to leave UK and I will travel throughout the world, so I'm super excited about it. And I still want to, you know, not to gain lots of weight, I, want, I will still stay on track, I will train and uh, I will continue with my cut. But I also want to enjoy the time I travel and have some meals I, where I eat out, try different foods from different countries. And I think for me intermittent fasting will be a good tool just to get this bigger meals in the evening when I go out without going totally over the calories because then I will just kind of skip breakfast. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it useful and you think one of your friends could benefit from it, please share it with him or her. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscription button down below and subscribe. And if you have any ideas or any questions, any topics I should cover in my future videos, let me know and I will be happy to do it. And see you very soon!